Rare earth elements are a group of 17 minerals unique for their magnetic, catalytic and electrochemical properties. They're used in consumer electronic devices, medical equipment and even in the flints of cigarette lighters. Well, a company in South Africa is now looking to exploit the country's rare earth mineral potential. Let's take a look. In this arid part of South Africa, Trevor Blanch has struck gold. Monazite ore, which contains high grades of neodymium and pasodymium, have been found in the area. So when you feel it, you can tell it's a, a special rock. Steen Camps Kral Holdings Limited, where Blanche currently acts as a chairman, has secured licenses to start mining for the rare earth minerals. The minerals are used in modern technologies, such as industrial magnets and hybrid cars. And the economic significance is great. If you take the market value of the rare earths in this mine that we presently know, it's, it's something like 20 billion rand. It's a, it's a very valuable resource for this area, for the community and for the country. The minerals are valuable on the global market. Last year, China produced a larger share of the so-called tech minerals, producing 120,000 tons in 2018 alone. South Africa is certainly on par with any other country that would lay claim to being able to supply uh, rare earth elements to meet this increasing demand. So uh, yes, it would mean a, a great deal to our country to be able to supply. And we are in a position to do so as long as those markets are favorable. Globally, mines have around 6% or less of rare earths in their ore. About 14% of this rock is rare earth. Uh, that is an extraordinarily high grade, and we don't know anything like it on the planet. In the meantime, Blanche hopes to build South Africa's underdeveloped rare earth mining industry. Astatal, CGTN.